going on everybody another video today and something has changed with the cummins as you can see i took the whole grill guard down got it down about half an hour i took it down last night so i would have filmed but it was really dark outside i didn't want to have to get some lights out or something I mean, you probably wouldn't even be able to see anything it took like a wrench a ratchet actually broke a ratchet trying to get that thing down well i finally got it off there was four brackets right here 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 and it's all gone now so i'm probably going to get tow hooks or something in place of there because i don't like that blank look i'm going to get these things out of the way i'm going to paint the brackets where the bolts were on the underneath of the truck and then i'm probably going to clean up the front end sorry guys for you guys that really like that big chrome weston grill guard i mean it's now gone it's sold but now i have more money for different mods for the cummins and i don't know if you guys can notice maybe there was a height change maybe it brought up the front end half an inch or something i don't know i'm saying that thing was heavy man that part with the winch mount that thing was so heavy and i'm sure it probably did bring the truck up on the front end a little bit and as you can see i still have the wiring right here that i'm gonna have to tuck that away as well but it's all it's all looking good now i kind of like the look of it without it i like the cleaner look here but after i get done with painting the stuff underneath and just touching up on the front here then we'll get to the first mod for the Cummins. You're thinking about taking off maybe this portion of the lower valence here. I want to keep some plastic because it would look weird if I didn't have some. Like if it was just cut off here. Maybe not. I don't know. I might even cut it right here. I'm not really sure yet. But it's definitely a bit too low for me. I do want to go with like a custom off-road bumper down the road. But I'm not sure when I want to do that. So maybe doing something with the lower valence would be good for me for right now. And I also want to get these bolts off, maybe replace them or paint them or something because they're pretty corroded there. So let's get started cleaning up the front end. I'm going to paint the underneath, just the bolts where they were, maybe even put some in place and then paint those. All right, guys, just finished the paint job. Now I'm going to cut these cords because I'm trying to place them somewhere else. Plus they're cracking and breaking as I even or even cut them. So now I'm gonna be careful here first. That should do the trick. So I'm just gonna zip tie these together. I'm just gonna push them out of the way a little bit here. All right, and that should do for now. mod to the Cummins. Now many of you guys might already know what this is. Let's get it open. And there it is. Cummins tow mirrors. Oh yeah, I'm ready to install these right now guys. Hope you guys are excited for this. Let's get them on the truck. Oh, and they are heated, yes. They also have the turn signal. Ooh, it's, it's actually tinted, smoked out. And then it's also got the puddle light on the side. There's really nothing wrong with these stock mirrors. I mean, they're pretty good. They got the heat turn signal and puddle light as well. So I'm not going to have to go to the dealer and spend around $100 to be able to use the tow mirrors. But I mean, I just don't really like the look of them. They're kind of big, bulky looking. I'll probably just sell them afterwards. I mean, they're all right. So I'm going to get these off the truck right now. And I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so to install tow mirrors on your Dodge Ram, 2500 1500 3500 whatever you want to get these bolts out right there 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 and then you want to take out the door panel <laughs> after you take the screws out you want to take a knife and then take this little panel out like so, just opens up like that. And then there's a Phillips screw right there behind the door handle. You wanna unscrew that. Okay, after you got that out, you can use your knife once again. Wow, it looks like this thing was replaced for $40. You can just lift up on the door. You want to unplug the mirror. What in tarnation? 
Alright guys, yeah, I just grabbed my electric turbo Backmaster 1.75 horsepower. Get some of that dust cleaned up because that's kind of bothering me right now. I also just wiped everything down with an auto towel. I mean, I didn't get all the dirt. I got what I could. It's good enough for me. So the next thing you want to do is follow the mirror cord down. As you can see, there's a black and white plug-in. Now, I think you might only have a white one if you don't have a turn signal and a puddle light, if it's just a manual standard mirror or maybe just a puddle light. I'm not really sure. But if you have a turn signal as well, I know you have both. All right, guys, so the next thing you want to do is take off these three bolts. Just pull your mirror right off. Hey, what's up, guys? Let me just clean some of this up real quick. I bought this mirror on eBay, so I'm hoping that it's actually going to work well. Oh, and you want to make sure that you take out this little pin right here. There it is. Screw in one of the nuts. Just want to make sure that that doesn't fall down. You know what I'm saying, man? Oh, wow, that looks nice. Black one goes on top, and then the white one. Push them in. Okay, so now I'm going to test to make sure that these actually work. Oh, yeah. Puddle lights working down there, too. Just tighten up all three bolts. Those little clips that hold the door. You want to just... exactly why you don't buy ebay tow mirrors for your truck this bolt right here as you can see the screw is pretty long on all of them they're all pretty long i had to sand this down every time you open the door you could just you would hear it just scratch and grind and i even accidentally chipped up some of this i decided to say cluck it i took the screws from the old mirrors installed them on the tow mirrors had to take the door off and everything again and now i'm good i have the old bolts on see how short that is no scratching here is gonna happen so let's get that other mirror on able to film a proper outro last night because how dark you got but voila mission accomplished truck is looking great just look at those mirrors i love the smoke turn signals that's just such a nice touch cleaned up the front end as well as you guys saw a lot more stuff planned for the cummins so if you guys like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe so i can see you next video and you can stay updated on my latest content now this is what you call a nice truck whole thing is freaking bedlined. It's on 40s, 13.5 R18. Holy crap, back tires like balls. Definitely a Cummins. Damn, that truck is nice. Ox third gen on Instagram. Damn, that is a nice truck. Four door long bed. Definitely protected from rust. Nice XD wheels. Wow, running 40s. This thing's like huge.